Welcome to Web Chef. Today we're going to do an English dish that's very popular with North American families. Our ingredients are going to be a package of whole ground beef, one whole onion chopped, one celery stalk chopped, one third of a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of mustard, salt and pepper to taste, a handful of chopped parsley chopped, and four garlic cloves chopped, third of a cup of frozen corn, a little over a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and six whole potatoes mashed. Put in about three tablespoons of olive oil into your pot. And we're going to start off by sauteing our onions. We want to do this before we cook the beef, so let's get all our onions in. Let's uh, stir it up a bit. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and this is going to help to add flavors to our onions as they're sautéing. Let's give it a good stir again. We're going to get the onions to cook for a few minutes. This will help uh, give them a nice soft caramel texture to them. Okay, we have a beautiful caramelized sautéed onion. It looks good and it smells good. The onions are going to uh, add flavors to the beef as it cooks. So uh, let's get our beef in. This beef is still a little bit frozen, so I'm breaking it up and spreading it around the pod so that it will cook more evenly. Let's mix the onions into the beef. While the beef browns, we're going to add the garlic to it. The garlic's going to add more flavors to your beef as it cooks. The beef has a nice brown texture to it now, so we're going to add our celery. Now, I had a leftover red pepper in the fridge that I wanted to use up. So I'm going to uh, throw it in this dish. So I've chopped it up and we're going to throw it in. Now our chopped parsley. Keep stirring it. Mix it up real nice because we're going to get ready to add some more flavors to it. One third of a cup of ketchup. One tablespoon of mustard. And our salt and pepper to taste. Mix all those flavors in. Let's get the cover and we're going to cook this for five to ten minutes on medium heat. This smells really good. Looks like it's done. We're going to uh, get ready to put it into our casserole dish.
Now we're going to start creating our layers for our shepherd's pie. So we're going to start off with the meat sauce, pour it into the bottom of our dish. And spread it all out so that it gets leveled at the bottom of your dish. This will be our first layer. And then we're going to um, add our corn for our second layer. Three quarters of a cup of frozen corn. Oops, it's still cold here. I have to help it along to get it into the dish. Spread it out evenly. This will be our second layer. Mashed potatoes will be our third layer. Let's get it into the dish. Let's get all of it out of the bowl here so we don't waste any. Let's spread it out with our cooking spoon. We want to create a nice even layer. Our last layer for the shepherd's pie, shredded cheddar cheese. I'm using a, a medium cheddar cheese here. Uh, you can use any cheese you want. You can use uh, a light cheddar or marble or a mozzarella. It just happened today I had medium cheddar, so this is what I'm using. So spread it out evenly. And we're ready to put it in the oven. Preheat your oven to 375 and put your shepherd's pie in for 30 to 40 minutes. Wow, this looks really good. Let's let this cool down for five minutes before we serve it. Remember, to get that crispy brown texture on the top of your shepherd's pie, you have to remove the lid of your dish for the last 10 to 15 minutes of your cooking time in the oven. And there you have it, shepherd's pie.